attention to these people that you allow them to lead you to. You understand me? And I'm going to explain. You had to realize that a lot of these individuals who are out here, again, that have bigger platforms, they got a large following, but they got that following from sending some false ass shit by putting on a facade. A lot of the information that they providing you is not even their shit. You understand me? We're going to talk about it. I done seen pastors that have huge platforms out here providing the same information they out here using other people's shit word by word if you was to compare certain videos you would see like damn that ain't even your shit that's somebody else's shit why do they have to speak why do they have to take certain information from other people if god was providing them so therefore you're gonna have to realize that these people are not as connected as you think that they are you understand me I want you to realize that these people, if they truly was chosen, if God was really speaking through them and to them, God would provide a message for them. They wouldn't have to be out here stealing other people's shit. You understand me? Now, listen, there's a difference in being inspired. Anybody can inspire you. Okay, they didn't trigger the thought. Now you paying attention like, okay, yeah, we're not talking about people who are inspired. We are talking about these leaders that try to mislead you and try to provide you with other people's shit. It because God didn't speak through them because they not operating from that light that they are claiming. You understand me? A lot of these individuals are trying to use the word of God and use God's information and God's light in order to spread their darkness. You understand me? So therefore, I want you to be cautious because again, I didn't seen it. If God is speaking directly to you and through you, if God puts you in that position to lead, God's going to provide you with certain insight. If you're not getting that shit, it's because your ass wasn't supposed to be here. So if God didn't choose you, who did? If you out here operating like a leader, when your ass don't even know who you are, if you out here trying to lead people when your ass is not even walking in your light, if you're not even on the right path, if you're not even connected with God, again, if God's not speaking to you and through you, how you out here say other people's shit, don't you know that there's consequences for that see god don't play and god damn sure ain't gonna play about no false prophets you understand me and while we talking about pastors we gonna talk about some of these tarot card readers too i seen a female with a large following she has a large following however everything that she uploads is somebody else's shit. If you was to scroll through her shit right now, you would see how inconsistent her ass really is. You understand me? Because one day she's telling you and, and, and encouraging you to do some fuckery. The next minute she talking about she's saved. One minute she talking about raising hell. The next minute she's trying to tell you how to get to heaven. You can't listen to people who don't even know who the hell they truly are. Who are out here trying to use the fact that they have numbers behind them in order to get over on people. God's not about to play with your ass. You out here thinking because your numbers is getting higher, them numbers is about to drop. You out here trying to, again, manipulate certain people's mentals. You out here trying to use other people's shit. If God meant it, meant it and intended for you to do so, God would have provided it directly to you. If God ain't do that shit, then that's not for you to repeat that shit. That's not for you to try to teach that shit. That ain't for you to try to do shit. You understand me? You can't be... Again, allowing these individuals who can't even lead themselves to lead you because all they are going to do is end up trying to manipulate you. You understand me? They trying to get up energy off of you. They try to use shit that you going through in order to build themselves up. Your ass better use your discernment. You better use your discernment. Because again, you don't know how many of your phases is really fucking around and using other people's shit you don't know how many of your phases again using their popularity in order to promote other people's shit and claim it as they own you understand me they out here feeling like they getting success that shit's about to stop because one thing god don't play about is them false ass prophets in whatever shape, way, or form. And this ain't me downplaying anybody because there are true tarot card readers that are prophetess or prophets. That does just because you do tarot card readers does not tarot cards does not make you evil. And I'm just gonna say this right now. That does not make you evil. That means that God then allowed you because through various forms, right? 
So some people just, again, prophetess use or prophets use tarot cards because people, some people have to see shit for themselves in order to believe it, all right? So let me tell you, this is why you have to trust your discernment because some people God truly speaks to, but because some people learn things differently. Some people learn based upon things that they see or things that they heard. Everybody learns things differently. So therefore, there are some dope ass tarot card readers that are really speaking God's word, but they try to use these cards to put a picture out for you so that you can comprehend. We're not downplaying those. We're not downplaying certain real pastors that are out here trying to promote God's work, who's out here trying to spread love and light. We're not downplaying those. What we downplaying those, those fake ass ones. You understand me? We downplaying those individuals that try to Speak one thing, but they out here operating the next. Those individuals that's trying to mislead you and lie to you in order to get praise from you. You understand me? A lot of these individuals, you're going to have to see. You're going to have to pay attention. I didn't see certain pastors talking about worship me, praise me, embrace me. Acknowledge me. I done seen tarot card readers doing the same shit. I done seen them really feel like they the end all be all when really... That's just not even getting sent to them from God. So therefore, again, this, the foundation that they thought that they was standing up, setting up, was a setup for their ass. You understand me? Always be cautious how individuals tell you to carry them. If they talking about worship me, praise me, acknowledge me, embrace me, certain words, those shit should be red flags to you. Because why are you telling me to praise you? But weren't you, weren't we supposed to be praising God? So before you even talked and jumped in the conversation about God, you talking about acknowledge you. Oh, you didn't, what? You done fucked around and forgot who you were and what you were supposed to do. That's why, again, God doesn't provide certain insight to certain people. That's why God gives them a little test and prayer. Okay, I'm going to put you in a position where you might have some numbers behind you, but what you about to do with that? Oh, you trying to set people up? Oh, you trying to mentally manipulate them? Oh, you trying to get people to follow the things that you want them to do in order to acknowledge you, in order to provide for you, in order to do the things that you need them to do? Oh, nah. You're going to have to be cautious. And again, this is not me downplaying it, but you're going to have to realize that a lot of these demons could recite certain scriptures. A lot of these demons can recite certain scriptures word by word. You understand me? See, this might ruffle a few feathers, but you're going to have to pay attention to your connection with God. God does not have a specific religion. God doesn't have a specific group. You understand me? God is energy. God is, again, God wants you to be, when you hear people say they are more spiritual than religious, that does not mean that they downplaying God. You understand me? Because you have to realize that certain people, God doesn't even allow you to read certain scriptures, read certain books, be hooked and pinned in to a certain religion because God needs you to be open to relay his message to all. You understand me? You can't be out here saying that you only a certain religion. Like, I'll, I'll speak on behalf of myself. I'm a spiritual person. I ride with God heavy. I love God. Ain't nobody going to play with me about God. And I'm not going to let nobody play with God. You understand me? That That's something that I, I it's a, no, it's not going to happen. But I want you to realize that certain gifts that God provides me, certain insight, had I been stuck in a certain religion, had I been structured, I wouldn't have been able to, again, tap into my gifts like God had designed for me. You understand me? Growing up, I was in the church. My, my family, up until my father passed, I definitely was in the church. But God never allowed me to read the Bible fully. And I'm just going to be real. I wasn't able to, up to a certain chapter that I used to always try to read it, God would be like, space that shit out and i'll be like what's going on you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to learn this i had to realize that god didn't want me to 
again, go with what other people then writ, wrote and said that he said. God wants me to go directly to the source to understand what he said. You understand me? God wants me to go within to find the answers. God doesn't want you to, again, go based upon other people. Your connection with God is your connection with God. It doesn't look a certain way. It doesn't act a certain way. It is what it is. You understand me? And a lot of people, again, will try to downplay you, try to talk ill upon you because you connected with God through you and not through them. They want you to have to go. We're we going to talk about it. When the pandemic hit, y'all wasn't able to go into the church like that. So does that mean that you didn't have God? Does that mean that you wasn't connected to God because your ass wasn't standing foot in the church? I, I'm asking. So, no. You had to... Pray, pray yourself. You had to talk to God yourself. You had to interact yourself. You understand me? So therefore, you need to realize that God is wherever you at. You don't need to go through other people in order to get that. You understand me? You don't need somebody else preaching a certain word in order for you to receive that message. Confirmations comes in various forms. You understand me? You need to be open-minded. Stop contending and keeping your ass restricted to a certain structure that does not suit you. You understand me? You a spiritual being, be spiritual. You love and light, that is what you're supposed to do. You don't have to walk a certain walk, talk a certain talk, act a certain way to appease these people that God didn't even select to be put in these positions. That's why God chose you because you're willing to be authentically you and continue to be you and do you no matter who is standing with you. You understand me? That's why you were selected, because you willing to stand by yourself, because you look different, you act different, you talk different, you walk different, you okay with being different. That's why God selected you, because these individuals who are looking down upon you based upon the fact that God and told you, God and showed you, and God and showed their asses too about you, you understand me? They out here feeling a certain type of way because they didn't bend themselves to appease other people. They didn't fit into a certain mold. They didn't sat there and praise like this. They didn't act like this. They didn't talk like this. They didn't live like this. And God is still providing you with abundance and you favor because you being authentically you because you being authentically you is means that you listening to what God's telling your ass to do. You understand me? You better realize that you better. Nah, listen. You are highly favored. You was chosen for a reason. So you better remember it. You understand me? I want you to embrace it. As long as you spread in love, as long as you spread in light, as long as you again are promoting other people healing while you healing you, but not trying to mislead people to do the things that you did. It's like you have to realize that you are here to save other people from experiencing that same shit that you encountered. You understand me? Don't you be selfish out here keeping certain shit to yourself. When I mean, when I say keeping certain shit to yourself, don't you dim your light. Don't you sit there and step into, step into the shadows when God told your ass to step into your spotlight because you got something slick for these people. You better remember who you are. You understand me? You better remember who you are so these people cannot persuade you that you somebody that you ain't. You chosen. You favored. You blessed. You abundant. You understand me? You was picked personally for this position. Don't your ass allow nobody to have you trip up, fumble up, slip up, none of that shit. If your ass get on some unsteady foundation, your ass better jump off of that and rebuild that shit. You understand me? You was placed here for a reason. You be, better be authentically you. In whatever way or shape that is. You understand me? Again, how you dress. I can tell you right now, I ain't no flashy person. I ain't somebody who is persuaded by profit. Somebody who, again, is focused on designer. I like to dress how I dress. You gonna see me on my hippie trippy shit. You might see me on some throwback 70s shit. I might be 60s today. I might be in the 90s tomorrow. Whatever the case may be. That is authentically me. Other people may not agree with that. They may down, look down upon that, but they cannot prevent that. They can't discourage me from being that. You like different types of music. Blast that shit. Don't turn your shit down just because you pulling up next to certain people. You understand me? Be authentically you. Don't worry about these people because what you're going to end up doing is inspiring them to be authentically them. 
You understand me? Be you. That's all you need to do is be you and be clear with other people. Make sure that you are communicating clearly. Make sure that you're speaking up for yourself. Make sure that you're taking up for yourself. Make sure that you boosting up you is not downplaying other people. But if they feel a certain type of way, then they asses better go within like you did. You understand me? I want you to remember who you are. You understand me? So these people, again, can't tell you that you're something that you're not. You better step into your power. But listen, I love you all. I got a few readings I got to do. Remember, please, I will not message you for no personal readings. When you feel like you properly prepared to receive that insight, you click that link in my bio and you can book your reading there. But again, do not book your personal reading unless you are ready to hear what you need to hear. Because I'm going to tell you what God tells me to tell you, not what you're trying to hear, all right? Don't get scammed. Remember that I love you. Make sure that you make the best of today. Today is whatever day that you want it to be. So therefore, allow it to be nothing but love and light and great energy. I want you to realize that when you see these storms now, this storm is clearing out some shit. You understand me? So many great things align for you. I love you. Um, I definitely will have this full live available on my YouTube page. Um, so give me like an hour and i'll upload the full thing if you haven't already link is in my bio too um to subscribe or click that notification so you get notified but just know i love you so much i'm proud of you you know i'm cheering for you baby if you need me you know how to reach me babies be great